Hello. So, um, yeah, I guess I haven't made a video lately. I have actually made one and tried to upload it, and I was having problems. So you might see that before this one anyway. But um, the camera had to go back, which I think I talked about in that video. It just didn't work. It was, like, really grainy and weird. So, and it was a Canon, so it wasn't like I had some cheapo camera. And so my husband tried to fool with it, and went online and did all kinds of stuff and apparently the things that we were dealing with were not uncommon um, so I just told him it wasn't worth the money for something that wasn't gonna work so so we went back to the store there's a dog on my lap if you want to see Weezy Weezy you want to say hi? He's so sleepy today I wanted to talk about just what's been going on with me and um, what's going to be happening this year or things that I have decided on. Um, the first thing is I have decided, and this this is with a bit of a heavy heart, <laughs> I have decided to stop buying nail polish for the entire year. So all of 2011 will not, I will not purchase one nail polish. The only exception is if there happens to be some limited edition shade on like toxic free nail polish that I desperately want to get. I might get that but I will not open it so I won't, will not be using any new nail polish. Um, I might be mixing a few that I already have if I see a shade I really like um, but I really want to use up all of the nail polish I have and then I want to at the uh, beginning of 2012, I want to then start using nothing but, you know, toxic-free um, nail polish, like water-based nail polish. So it also gives me an entire year to research on which ones are the best and stuff like that. So, and the ones I have now will be thrown out at the end of the year. I always wanted to start getting into like the more um, eco-friendly and human friendly stuff for my nails but I just you know I just didn't take the time to do it and I decided that I really want to do this I do that in every part of my life and I don't do it for nail polish and it doesn't make any sense so that is a huge decision oh there's Lizzie hey baby Aww. you don't want to be seen today let's see if I can get a good shot over <gasps> Weezy, you're such a good girl. You're tired. We had too long of a walk today. And it's snowing today, so that was interesting. But anyway, I have been buying a couple things, and I don't think I'll do a haul because it's like little things. Like what I'm wearing today, I picked up from Styly Style the orange lip pencil line and seal 12 or more hour in. Uh, 1121 orange. Looks like that. Bye. Can you see the Styly Styles? I don't know where you would get it in the States, and you used to get it at London Drugs, but they're discontinuing it. So these, t I got two of them, um, and each pencil was like a dollar eighty seven or something crazy cheap. So, um, so yeah, and I really like it. It stays pretty much all day. I don't know if you can really tell. I didn't, I really lightly did it, but you could really go crazy with this. So this will be my staple into um, spring. I hear orange is really big. And I hear orange is really big for fall as well, next, this coming fall. So, you know, you might want to have a couple orange pieces for pretty much this entire year. Just my tip. <laughs> and I also tried some Peacemaker Yum Balm. Um, and this one's in orange. You can see the tag on there. This one's in orange. And then they also had a lip balm, which I am now testing to see if it's any good compared to my Burt's Bees. So I'm using it in, like I do my Burt's Bees um, when I do my skincare routines. And it's very moisturizing, but the tube is huge. It's like double the size of like my Burt's Bees. So even me with you know, I have pretty full lips. I feel like, <laughs> like I'm like way, go, way going way over my lip. So 
if anyone gets that, which I don't have with me, so I can't show you. If anybody uses that and has really thin lips, you might want to like use your finger and apply it, or just enjoy having it halfway around because that happened with me. And, but it was very moisturizing. So, so far so good on that. That was only got that last night or two nights ago, and then I also had to get a new eye um, cream because. I still can't find the Olay one. I have no idea where I put it in this house. I'm sure I'll find it somewhere along the, line, the way. But I got the Reversa Anti-Wrinkle Eye Contour Cream with 4% glycolic acid. It's paraben free. And it's got an SPF of 15. So this will be my day eye cream. I'm still looking for a night eye cream because... Uh, the one I've got now from Juice Beauty is just not moisturizing enough, and so I'm noticing it's getting really crepey and just not good. So, I'm researching that right now and see which one to get. So we'll see where that goes. I also have lost my gla my other set of glasses, so I'm not sure what's going on. <laughs> so that's going on there. Um, if you have it entered, you should enter the giveaway for the cake products, which I keep here. I'm going to actually box these up tomorrow, I think. And um, comes with three hand creams. I saw something similar to this on Target's website, and even on sale or clearance or whatever, it was a two pack, and it was like I don't know, 17 on clearance. So I was like, "Whoa, this is a pretty good deal." So if you want to win, find my giveaway. Um, go look up top here to my videos. You click on that little arrow and find the giveaway video and um, yeah, uh, so far uh, there's quite a few entries so I'm quite surprised. <laughs> anyway, but I'm really excited because I love giving things away and um, I love sharing things that I like with other people. More importantly, I don't want to just give anything away but that might be it. Uh, there's going to be a healthy video right after this. I'll have to wash my hands and deal with this lady here. Because um, I don't want to be touching things with um, the dog and food and whatnot. Um, so I've got some quick healthy tips that will be next. And um, I'm going to do a getting to know you tag. I'll just pick one. And what else? It was somebody else that wanted something else. Um, Valentine's. There's going to be a Valentine's video. What I think I'm going to do is uh, either one look or two looks, and then I'm going to do some fashions to go with it. So I don't know if I'll have to, like, break that up into two or three videos, but I'm going to try and, like, condense it as much as possible. Um, because I got a couple requests for that, so that's what I'm going to do. And, um, yeah, I hope everyone's staying warm and enjoying the week and um, talk to you later. Bye.